Welcome to No Longer Conformed, my online teaching and preaching ministry. We're studying the book of Matthew, the first gospel. In this session, we're looking at Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 to 15. Pray with the right motive. Did Jesus oppose public prayer? No, the issue addressed here in our text is religious show business. Christianity is plagued by pretenders. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 5, And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the street, that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. The hypocrites are religious leaders. They were about pumping up their own religious reputations with the goal of impressing the people. Others may praise them as being devout, but God would not pay any attention. The one who prayed in the synagogue stood up front. The one in the street faced the temple to pray. At prayer time, you stop, turn, and raise hands in prayer. I wonder if some planned to be in just the right spot. I wonder. Acts chapter 3 and verse 1, it says, Now Peter and John went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour. What was Jesus' remedy for this religious affliction? Deal with your motive for praying. Look at verse 6. But you, when you pray, go into your room. And when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Go into your room. Shut your door. Guard your heart in worship. If you cannot pray sincerely in public, do it privately. Jesus was not opposed to public prayer. He was dealing with motive. Hebrews chapter 10, verses 19 to 25. Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which he consecrated for us through the veil, that is his flesh, and having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart, in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another and so much more as you see the day approaching. The heathens are unsaved pagans. They offered canned prayers repeatedly, thinking that many words would force God to listen. They repeated the names of the gods. But look at verse seven. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think, that they will be heard for their many words. What was Jesus' remedy for this religious affliction? Well, deal with your purpose for praying. Prayer is not a tool for either informing God or changing his mind on something. Verse eight, therefore, do not be like them, for your father knows the things you have need of before you ask him. Jesus taught his disciples about praying with the right motive versus the hypocrites to be seen. He also taught them about praying for the right purpose versus the heathen, to use God. What is the right motive? What is the right purpose? Well, in the remaining verses of our, of our text, in Matthew 6, verses 9 to 15, there are six elements of acceptable prayer. First of all, 
how to address our Heavenly Father. Verse 9, in this manner, therefore, pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Personally, in an intimate relationship, God's willingness to fellowship with us is clear, yet he deserves our reverence, hallowed. This word is from the same root word for holy. God is perfect and set apart from sinful man. Listen, he's not the man upstairs. Also, how to include his holy purpose. Verse 10, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Daily ruled by his plan, God's plan of perfecting relationships. Prayer changes things. Usually, prayer changes the one praying. The person praying must want God's kingdom, must work to bring it about, and must support this goal. Or, it's only empty words. A new perspective on life's purpose. And how to depend on his provision. Verse 11, give us this day our daily bread. Prayer concerns, prayer, prayer concerns daily needs. The issue is what is necessary for life. Like God's provision of manner. Dependence on the physical provision as well as the spiritual. This does not mean that God is our tool for, for selfish desires. And then how to maintain a right attitude, verse 12, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Uh, eternal versus temporal forgiveness. God's ministry is not available to the unforgiving. Repentance is in the attitude of the heart a godly sorrow for sin. If you're not able to truly forgive, then you're not able to receive forgiveness. The same humility is needed. And how to ask for God's protection. Verse 13, and do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever, amen. We can pray for protection and deliverance to keep us from spiritual tests. But if needed, strengthen us. God can spare us from temptation. He can also strengthen and deliver us from Satan. And how to restore our broken fellowship. Verses 14 and 15. But if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Two sides of the same coin. Forgive and be forgiven. We have to forgive, we have to have forgiving spirits as Christians. The question is not whether relationships will be broken but what we do when they do break. Truly, Christianity in action is seen during those times. Why should God restore fellowship with you if you're unwilling to restore fellowship with others? We expect God's forgiveness, not keeping track of the offense, yet we often refuse to grant our full forgiveness to others. I'll forgive but I can't forget. Oh, these are elements of prayer that is acceptable to God. Well, let me ask you, how do your prayers match up? Does your praying reflect this model? Do you need to make some changes? You give that some thought and you have a great day.